Hello, I'm Virginia, and welcome to Energy Matters News. The inventor of the Super Soaker water gun has been working on a low-cost and more efficient way of converting solar power to electricity. Lonnie Johnson has been developing a device to convert heat to electricity called the Johnson Thermoelectrochemical Converter. Heat is one of the major causes of efficiency loss in solar panels. Mr. Johnson believes that solar power efficiency of 50% in the short term and 80% in the long term will be possible using his invention, which is far higher than any of today's solar panels. U.S. company Solar Roadways recently won the GE Eco-Imagination Challenge for their vision of covering every sealed road surface with solar panels. Paved surfaces cover over 100,000 square kilometers throughout the U.S. While the costs to carry out such a massive project would be enormous, Solar Roadways believes it would take just under 22 years to pay for itself. A new report from the Climate Institute has found that Australia is falling behind the rest of the world when it comes to pricing pollution. The report states that this is largely due to lack of support for renewable energy ventures. A comparison of the effort countries are taking was measured as an equivalent price tag on pollution. The report found that under the implied carbon pricing formula, Australia ranked second lowest. Archimedes' solar death ray has caught the interest of U.S. President Barack Obama. Whether or not the death ray could have been real, President Obama spoke about the importance of inspiring children to take an interest in science. The president announced that he would be making a special guest appearance on the Discovery Channel's Mythbusters. The episode in which President Obama challenges the show's hosts to revisit Archimedes' solar ray experiment is scheduled to screen in December. The UK government announced that it will slash almost 500,000 public sector jobs and increase pension contributions while scrapping leave entitlements. Renewable energy projects, however, have been left unscathed by the UK government's severe austerity measures. The Department of Energy and Climate Change will receive an increase of 41% more funding in capital spending. The global financial crisis has left the UK with such massive debts that cuts in certain areas were necessary to ensure that future generations would not have to pay. Be sure to visit energymatters.com.au to stay up to date on all renewable energy news.